Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Thursday, March 7th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in college basketball in just a moment, and we'll get to that. But first, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. It's a real cool way to do so. You click on the link below the video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Get set up for the free $60 account. March Madness is here. The rest of my basketball play is still available at DocSports.com for only $299, well below the normal price. We'll take you right through the championship game in April in college basketball, all the smaller tournaments, all the conference tournaments, all that good stuff, and uh, all the remaining regular season plays that we have will be included in this package for just $299. And uh, we finally will be involved in college basketball tournament action on Thursday. I mentioned the other night on the video, I think it was on Tuesday, uh, that we liked a particular matchup. We were hoping for the correct line or the line that we thought uh, would be good for us and advantageous for our play, and that's what we got for Thursday. So uh, that'll be available Thursday morning at DocSports.com. Part of a three-play package. Now, these three-play trifectas, as I like to call them, going back over a year now, 60 and 40 against the spread couple of pushes in there, but 60 and 40, 60%. And uh, we've got a three-play package going on at DocSports.com College Basketball on Thursday, including, again, uh, that first College Basketball Conference tournament play. And again, uh, over the last 21 years, we have won 16 out of 21 years uh, with conference tournament and big dance and these smaller tournaments all combined uh, in the month of March and April. So we look to make it 17 and 5. Uh, this March and into April. So again, all three plays, the three-play college basketball trifecta. We like to go to 63 and 40 with these plays. They're available Thursday morning, DocSports.com. As far as what happened last night, man, we had a, a five-star play on Marquette. And I don't know if you saw that, but, uh, you know, we've had a few of those last-second shots where a team hits against us and covers the spread against us. But this was beyond that. You're talking about top 20-ranked Marquette aiming to end a two-game skid as they look to try to capture the Big East regular season title up 64-55. to Pretty late in the game against Seton Hall. Nine-point lead, laying two, two and a half. They were outscored 18 to nothing the rest of the game by the Seton Hall Pirates. Wojo, that's a terrible job. I don't care if your players aren't executing. That's a terrible job by the coaching staff when you watch your team. Top 20 caliber team, by, by all means. Uh, getting outscored 18 to nothing over the final few minutes of the game. And, of course, because of that, we ended up losing uh, that play last night in college basketball. I don't bitch and whine too often. You know, it's just the way it is. And I've been doing this for almost my entire adult life, uh, betting for a living. And uh, we don't bitch and whine too much. But when you see something like that, I'm just really fired up at the, the coaching job that was not done uh, by the Marquette staff down the stretch in the game against Seton Hall. But uh, you got to put that one behind us, and we do. And uh, again, three college basketball plays on Thursday, three-play trifecta. We look to extend that run to 63-40. and 40. Uh, NBA, a couple of games on Thursday night. We'll have one of those plays over at DocSports.com also on Thursday morning, and we'll be involved in the NHL after a pass last night. But how about those Golden Knights? Man, this team's coming on, guys. And I'll tell you what, they're going to be a player again in the Western Conference. Mark Stone's addition has meant the world to this team. They were struggling. They were barely holding off Arizona for that third and final spot in the Pacific Division, which means they could have missed out of the playoffs if the Coyotes would have caught uh, the Vegas Golden Knights. They go out and they trade for Mark Stone, give up Oscar Lindbergh, give up a couple of prospects, all that kind of good stuff. And since then, they are a perfect 5-0. and Now, Stoney has yet uh, to score a goal. He's got a couple assists along the way. But that second line might be the best second line in the NHL or really close to it when you consider they now have Stone, Pacioretty, and Stastny on that second line. Going to be a tough out in the postseason. Big points last night. Big two points uh, for Vegas, defeating Calgary by a final score of 2-1. to one. By the way, that's Calgary's first three-game losing streak this entire season. That's how good they've been so far this year. San Jose right on their heels uh, for the Pacific Division title and Arizona now, after that loss a couple of nights ago to Anaheim, uh, is now a good 8 to 10 points behind Vegas. It looks like Vegas should be able to easily, rather easily, wrap up that third spot in the division. 
And uh, if they suited up right now, the postseason began today, they'd be taking on San Jose. They'd be one heck of a series uh, with the addition of Mark Stone now with the Vegas Golden Knights. But, you know, we haven't talked a lot of hockey, but we did last spring when we came aboard at DocSports.com. And, of course, we started doing these videos last April. We talked with you a lot about the NHL. We will as we get closer to the playoffs and as the postseason gets underway. But uh, wanted to mention a couple of other things that's going on over at DocSports.com right now. Don't miss out on the Major League Baseball package. It's We're just a couple of weeks away, guys. In fact, uh, it's just, what, 13, 14 days from now uh, when a pair of teams are going to get things started with a two-game set in Japan that will count towards the regular season standings. And we're three weeks away from the opening of the rest of the teams getting involved in Major League Baseball. Man, we just got absolutely red hot and on fire the final three months of the baseball season last year. In fact, we hit about 66% of our plays and how does that equate when it comes to the money? When you factor in money line play in baseball, we weren't out there giving out a bunch of big favorites. We actually uh, profited over $7,000 for $100 per unit betters during that final three-month run to wrap up the baseball season. So you want to be sure to grab that package and get it right now over at DocSports.com. Again, don't forget about college basketball and the NBA on a Thursday. Let's get to our free pick for college basketball for Thursday. And a quick reminder, we'll probably have our next Major League Baseball wins total prop on Friday's report. College basketball free play. Uh, we're going to turn to the big sky. And we've been on or against this team a few times this year and had success. We're talking about Southern Utah. They're hosting Northern Colorado. Uh, Northern Colorado lane four for the most part, couple of four and a halfs out there as I cut this video. But uh, I'm going to lay the points here with the Bears on the road uh, in Cedar City. This team likes to shoot the trade. Talking about Northern Colorado, uh, they over the last five games, they've taken about 45% of all their shots from the three-point line. They've made about 10 per game uh, during that time span. And as far as Southern Utah is concerned, they got a couple of weaknesses, and one of those happens to be deep perimeter defense. Uh, they've allowed their last five opponents to hit about 40% of their three-pointers. They're not good at forcing turnovers. They only average... Uh, forcing about 10 turnovers per game to the last five opponents. And, and they only average 4.6 steals per game over that uh, last five games. That's not good at all. Northern Colorado takes care of the rock. There's no doubt about that. The Bears know how to hang on to the basketball. Um, they're on the high side, by the way, uh, of an average score of 78 to 69 in their last 29 games against teams that average less than six steals per game. So if you can't harass... Uh, their ball handlers bringing the ball up the court, and once they get it into the half court, you're generally not going to do so well against Northern Colorado. They also ha have forced their last five opponents into an 081 assist turnover ratio. They're forcing about 15 and a half turnovers per game in those outings. If you look at that first meeting, uh, Northern Colorado was at home, obviously. Uh, they did not shoot their normal way as far as their three point shots were concerned. They only made 33% of their shots from behind the three-point line. They had just nine assists. They had 14 turnovers. That's well below their season averages in that first meeting, yet still won that basketball game by 11 points. They come into this one on a 7-2 and two straight up and against the spread run on the road in conference action, and four of those seven wins have been by double digits. I think we get more of the same tonight. Like Northern Colorado laying the points here over Southern Utah, a little big sky action on uh, Thursday night, that game at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, 5.30 p.m. Pacific. Again, Northern Colorado minus the couple of buckets over Southern Utah. Again, don't forget about those Thursday packages. Three-play trifecta college baskets at DocSports.com. We look to go to 63-40 and 40 with those three-play trifectas going back over a year now, calendar year. And then, of course, NBA uh, Thursday night action, just two games. We are involved in one of those games, and that's available Thursday morning, DocSports.com. Also, along with the NHL, don't miss out on that $299 special for the rest of my college basketball plays throughout uh, the entire tournament and the championship game in April. And, of course, Major League Baseball. Go grab that early bird package right now, and uh, you're going to get that big discount, just $299 for uh, baseball over at DocSports.com. All right, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the uh, thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have 
done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprite. Oh, want a real quick mention. Uh, if you got nothing to do, if you're sitting in your office, you're driving around, what have you, uh, tune in to VSEN 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific on Thursday, and I'll be uh, on with Matt Humans and the gang over at VSEN. That'll be Thursday again, 4 p.m. Eastern time, so check it out. All right, let's put Thursday in the win column. I'll be right back here Friday morning.